fishing, just fishing, fishing, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks. And here we go, guys. This is a September 16, 2018 sea bass fluke trip out in Block Island and Montauk on the Blue Jay, Captain Rick's beautiful 32-foot aluminum boat, uh, joined by our friends Jack and Mark. Uh, Captain Mark actually has a charter business out on the east end of Long Island. I'll include a link to that in the description. Uh, but uh, the thing I'll remember about this trip is our way out. And we'll catch the end of it because, of course, I didn't have the camera rolling. We were, you know, driving 40 miles or so to Block Island early in the morning and I had the camera away and you know Rick's boat has these mezzanine seats or a mezzanine seat so it's basically facing back aft as we say in the marine world uh, towards the engines and about a quarter mile behind us as we were passing Gardner's Island Mark and I saw two fish uh, one right after the other about four feet long, long and silver, jumps straight out of the water about five feet. Kind of like when you see those National Geographic or Discovery Channel shows about mako sharks or even great whites. Uh, these weren't sharks, though. Um, and they weren't striped bass and they weren't bluefish. And, uh, man, it, it's the absolute craziest thing I've ever seen there. Um, I think we saw tarpon. That's what it looked like from far away, a long silver fish. Um, I did some research afterwards. Some people have said uh, it's most likely sturgeon that you saw. Um, but I also uh, found out uh, from a couple different people that uh, some of the gill netters around Gardner's Island actually net uh, tarpon. So maybe it was tarpon. What's the craziest thing you've seen on the water? I mean, uh, I, I wish we had this on video because it, it was a crazy sight, just how high they jumped. Um, but yeah, that uh, the, this short clip we're going to see now is, is just the tail end of it. It was right in your wake. Just, just uh, neutral, neutral, so we don't spook them, and then, well, let's just neutral and look around. I mean, we could have just disturbed the big fish. There, where that bird was in that area there. Where, where is the bird? I don't know. The bird just took off that way, but that's that was insane. Whatever that was. Huge fish. It, it was like three, four feet long. And it, it and it was five feet in the air. It, it, big bass? It, it was it was a very thin profile. Maybe a big blue? It almost looked like a kingfish. It had a very narrow. Holy cow! And we were just talking about the GoPro, and I didn't have it on. Back from the guy on Miss Montauk after the video? No. Montauk? No. I mean, buddies with you. And like I said, this clip is literally seconds after we, we saw what we saw. We made Rick stop the boat and turn around. Now, Mark and I are the only ones who saw it because it was behind us. And Rick and Jack were in the driver position in the cockpit facing forward. And this, like I said, happened about a quarter mile behind us. Craziest thing I've ever seen in the water. You hear us describing it, Mark and I, what we saw. Um, yeah, I, I, I still can't believe we saw that. Definitely not a striper. Definitely not a bluefish. Um, sturgeon and tarpon. It, it had to be one of the two. Yeah, I, I, I think you guys have been smoking something. Yeah. No, we weren't. That I've never seen that before ever. Uh, yeah, you guys. No, I saw the splash. I saw a big splash. No, but did you see the fish fly out of the water? When we, when you said something, I turned. There was a splash. I just saw water. No, I mean this. This was the. We didn't even say anything until the second splash, though. It was like, did you see that? Oh, you fuck the guys are on drugs. 
So yeah, that's uh, Rick's answer to everything. We must be on drugs. Uh, but uh, yep, that that was the end of our quest. And uh, we stopped at Block Island first, like I said, south side, southwest side of Block. Uh, and uh, we're hoping for fluke, but uh, we, we settled on some uh, big sea biscuits, uh, aka sea bass. Um, stuck around for about an hour, just sea bass. So we headed over to Montauk right after that. How could they not kick him out of the marina for that? a better sea bass. It's got a lot of weight. Whoa, what you got, Mark? You want the keepers, Rick? Yeah. Don't forget to bleep, block it out. I just got some. Not a fluke, though, right? <coughs> Not fighting one. No, it's bouncing too much. It's a nice sea bass. It's a good one. That's a sea bass. Yeah. It's a keeper too. Rick wants some. Yeah, I love sea bass. Yeah. Fluke? That's a big sea bass. You need a net? What is it? It's not fighting like a fluke. All right, I got it, I got it. Keep it, hold on, I'm coming. That's why I got the net for you. It's definitely a keeper. Oh, it's definitely a keeper. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my God. Anytime you're ready. All right, good. You guys are Don't leave it in the water. You pulled it out. Jack, Hold on. Way to go. Jack, who put you on the Ah, field? that's me, not you. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's... I put you on... And that was a nice flute that Jack got there. Jack, Rick, and I are using the same setup, a Jigging World Nexus 7-foot heavy rod with 4 inches chopped off the top, paired with a Quantum Accurus PT100. I believe Rick and Jack are going a little heavier than I. I think they use 15-pound test. Uh, I'm the brave one here. I'm using 10-pound suffix braid. And I'll include a link to all the gear we used uh, in the description of the video. Yeah, Jack, this is redemption for the trip we were last on, remember? I'm coming with the net, Jack. I don't know if you Come on. Jack, yeah. don't just just don't uh don't don't, don't pump it like that. You're giving it way too much slack while wow, they took They took my whole uh <laughs> they took my whole gulp off. I think that's gonna be bigger than your first one. Oh man. It is bigger, Jack. Nice job, Jack. Who put you on the fish, Jack? Yeah, you're the man. Yeah, this is redemption from that trip. Dude. Remember that? Yes. I Remember did. I said that it just sometimes. Oh my god. Look at that fish, John Skinner. It's on a John Skinner bucktail. Believe it or not. That's a nice fish. Yeah. You know what? I'll take the fish. I'll deal with the fish. All right. You deal. If he doesn't jump out. Right. Holy cow, I don't need to ride. I got big paws. Yeah. Good for you. Look at you. Well, you I said that and. Did you need a No. This is 
right up. Oh, 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 oh yeah. yeah, good fish. Oh, yeah. Nice, oh, yeah. John, nice. Oh, I'll hear that drag? I'll get the net. Looking good. I was just gonna say, this is right where we were catching him. He lightened up, he's swimming up with me. He's gonna be up in a second, Rick. I'm right here. Right behind you. I'll lead him into the net. So nice vib had some good vibrations there. Yeah, he hit like a ton of bricks and then he lightened up. Hey, keeper, not great. I slacked. Ah, not a bad fish. No. Wanna keep him though? Look at those. Uh... Yeah, no, it's good. No, look at those marks on him. Where? Well, he's just got a little scuff. Okay. I got the net, that thank you. That doesn't look like any uh, horrible thing. Then. Okay. Don't you think? No, I guess you're right. I like that though, that means we're over rocks. One of you guys is gonna get hit. It's one, two. Perfect. And 54 feet. Perfect. There you go, Rick, right when I said it. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, stay down, Jack. I got the net, I got the net, Jack. Good fish? I, I, I got the camera going, so. I like to uh, record. Not again. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea. He sounds, uh, whoa. Oh, taking line. You're not tangled, you're okay. No, I know, I'm okay. I'm just, no, 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 no. The rod is fine, the rod is fine. You just fish. There's, if there's one here, there's there's gonna be more. I told you, it's it's right in this mid zone between the that that marker and that marker. Who we'll put, we'll put, we'll put me on the fish? You did. I did, that's right. Probably a 22 inch fish. Rick, Rick this is doesn't. A fish we got going All right, if there. if we're counting in kilograms, it might be a double digit. Just look at that fish. Nice net shot. That's almost as big as James. Oh. Yeah, Jax is bigger. That's the pool fish of the day. That's a nice fish. It's a four and a half, five. I think that's more like eight. Nine it's pounds. just yeah. I think those uh, prescription glasses need a little uh, need a little work. Was that on your boat? A lot of rocks here too. No, that's a rock. No, it's not. No? Ooh, coming up. Good job. Good job, Marky Mark. Front of the boat, producing Rick. Nice. About time. Oh, maybe a bluefish. We caught a few here yesterday. It's, it's gulping out. Yeah, might be a blue. Well, I'm up anyway. We'll help. Or a 10-pound fluke. Feel any hedge? Oh, it's a fluke. It's a fluke. All right, all right, nice and slow. There's a, there's no rush, just because we're by uh, 40 foot breakers and we'll probably all die if you don't get the fish up in the next five minutes. Other than that, Mark, you take your time. A lot of pressure here now on the bow of the boat. It's Jack's rod, that's what did it. Well, if it's Jack's rod, it's a, it's a very feminine light rod. It's probably not that big a fish. It's still taking trees. Yeah, it's okay. Remember the current is really ripping here too, so it, you're you're fighting that too. Yeah. Oh, there he goes again. All right. Watch, it's a 16-inch fish. It's not. Going the other side. Yeah. Now just guide him into the net. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna chase him. I'm not gonna try to tail hook him. Nice and slow. Nice and easy. I see him. It's a, oh, it's a shark. Oh, it's, it's a striper. A striper. <laughs> it's a striper. That's why he was running. <laughs> striper. Drift, just there we go. Mark's on a fluke. Good one? No. Not like the bass. Well, let's see how it looks. Oh, Jack's up here with the net. See if it'll pass, Jack. Uh, Mark. Oh, I just got slammed too. There we go. Oh, that'll pass. That'll pass. Nice job, Mark. 
Good net job, Jack. The boat has to start earning its keep now. See that, Rick? Good job. And look at that. And that was going to be the last keeper we caught. You might have heard me say when Mark was fighting that striped bass that, uh, remember, Mark, the, the current is ripping. Yeah, we were going close to three miles an hour at this point. Um, and it, it got a little ridiculous losing rigs with the rocky bottom and the, the current really flying. Um, but, yeah, fluke season, uh, less than three weeks away from the date uh, this video is published, May 4th, 2019, in New York. Looking forward to that. And uh, don't forget, let me know uh, what you think about the beginning of the video, what we saw or what we didn't see per Rick um, definitely positive that was not a bass or a bluefish five feet out of the water three to four feet long long silver fish um, again I, my money's on either a tarpon or a sturgeon sturgeon more likely in our waters but uh, tarpon have been uh, caught in nets out by Gardner's Island so that's not out of the question either as always thanks for watching and remember if you're a fan of these videos and you want to see more content like this, please hit that subscribe button.